Hey folks, I had a customer ask a question about uh, a fifth string spike for the banjo. Um, I typically put one spike on right here. And uh, what that is, is it's basically a miniature capo for the fifth string. In um, lots of styles of banjo music, we are retuning and capoing to get to different keys. And so you have to do something with the fifth string. Now, um, I'm an advocate for tuning up and down as well. So I like to tune up and down and use the spike to get what I want. So example, um, we're uh, basically, oh, I'll show you up close here. Basically the spike is a little railroad model spike and you can put the string underneath it and it changes the pitch. So if right here it's G, then I put it under the spike to get up to A. Um, so example, if I'm in, um, I'm in sawmill tuning, Sometimes out of that tuning, uh, you know, I'm playing in the key of G, but I might want to play in the key of F. So I don't mind tuning down a whole step. Um, some people in that tuning like to go to A. So in that case, I can tune up to G, put it under the spike to get it up to A quick. Same thing if you were playing um, in capo 2 and you wanted that A note. It takes a little tweaking, but we'll get you there. Um, I could then also would feel comfortable tuning up to B flat or B from that uh, spike. I don't go up to C from one spike. Other folks put on two or three spikes. I see. I feel like I can get, kind of get by with a one. Um, so yeah, that's what it's for. It's just a slick little method for um, uh, getting the fifth string up and down. Cheers.